category is uh, the category of customer service CEO of the year. In this case, being awarded to a CEO is just three years into a journey which is a huge task. Very much like turning around a big ocean liner that's steaming full speed in one direction and has to pull it around before it's the iceberg. The chosen CEO has a long history of demonstrating commitment not just to service excellence but to their people. He was personally involved in his earlier role in his division's international customer service data certification and the actual awards judging. Uh, this journey began for him in the last year, 2005. Some speculated to me privately that it was perhaps his focus on service excellence, his commitment to hands on approach to it, that actually elevated him to the top job in 2008. Right now, he's driving healthy change for the vast company. In an environment that's constantly changing, the technology is changing, the regulatory environment is changing. And every challenge that he faces is pounced on by the media. But those achievements now are starting to get as much airtime as the challenges. And rightly so. This year's winner is the CEO who's pushed for change. And it's been a consistent push for change. He's linked staff rewards with customer service outcomes. And he's got a vision to restore his company's reputation, not just in the telecommunications industry, but across all industries. Some may say this is a controversial choice, as the telco industry has plenty of ombudsman complaints in negative media. But we at CSI are not going to shy away from controversy. This CEO has provided over a drop in telecommunications industry ombudsman complaints, while other companies have had skyrocketing levels of complaints, one in particular, Richard Wilson. Richard Wilson, I know. Him. He has led a team, he has led a team that has won back over 2 million lost customers. 2 million lost customers. He's inspired a 45,000 workforce to believe in itself again and see itself as customer focused. For some of these people, it's the first time. David Thody. Every day, what we can do better. 
but every day I get uh, encouraged by I see the people responding in great ways. I see customers writing and saying, gee, I never thought Telstra would be like that. And it's just such a wonderful privilege to be able to receive uh, comments like that. So the early results that are encouraging are we're seeing some real improvement. We are seeing a reduction in complaints. Red, but not enough yet, I'd like to say. There's still a long way to go there. And, and we have seen a, a large number of customers coming back to Telstra. And we love every one of them. We want to look after every one of them. Uh, but most importantly, I received this award on behalf of all the great people at Telstra. And they are wonderful people. And they are so committed, so dedicated. And it's a real privilege to me personally to work with them. So, Red, thank you very much for your